This week, Bernie Sanders says factory farms are a threat to America. Jay-Z, Ruby Rose, and Will I Am invest in impossible foods. Chick-fil-A announces vegan chicken. And find out which athlete says animal cruelty pains his heart. All that and more on Liv Kindly's Weekly Vegan News. Vermont Senator and presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders spoke out about the meat industry, naming factory farms a threat to America. Sanders posted to Twitter, sharing his thoughts on factory farm waste with his 9.26 million followers. He wrote, Factory farms are responsible for 1.4 trillion pounds of animal waste in America. Factory farms are a threat to the water we drink and the air we breathe. And it is unbelievable to me that Republicans in Congress have been working overtime to exempt factory farms from environmental laws. 99% of animal products in the U.S. come from factory farms. The industry has been linked to environmental damage, as a farm of 5,000 pigs can create as much waste as a town of 20,000 people. If untreated, this waste pollutes soil, surface water, and oceans. According to environment website EcoWatch, potentially toxic chemicals, drugs, and bacteria in untreated animal waste drain off or leach through the soils, making their way into the nation's rivers, streams, groundwater, and drinking water at alarming rates, directly impacting communities. Vegan meat brand Impossible Foods raised $300 million in its Series E round of funding, backed by celebrity investors including Jay-Z, Ruby Rose, Will I Am, Katy Perry, Trevor Noah, and Serena Williams. This funding will be used to help the brand scale up as it faces increased demand after the successful Impossible Whopper launch at Burger King last month. Including the most recent funding round, the Bill Gates-backed company has raised more than $750 million, and Reuters values the company at an estimated $2 billion. Hints of celebrity interest in the plant-based meat brand have been floating around for the past couple of years. Katy Perry wore a burger costume to this year's Met Gala, tagging Impossible Foods on Instagram. Harold and Kumar star Cal Penn also invested. Get up, we're going to White Castle. We're starving. He appeared in White Castle Impossible Slider ads last September. Batwoman Ruby Rose hosted an Impossible Burger summer barbecue. And Jaden Smith teamed up with the company and Umami Burger to launch three meat-free burgers in 2017. I'm giving them a plant-based burger that, you know, they can enjoy and promote healthy, you know, living and lifestyle. Coming up, Chick-fil-A announces vegan chicken. A Whole Foods Market location in Philadelphia dedicated an entire freezer section to Beyond Meat. According to a thread on Reddit, the sign above the freezer reads, Try the Trend, and the shelves are filled with plant-based Beyond Burgers and Beyond Sausages, both of which are said to look, cook, and taste like their beef and pork counterparts. Reddit users were impressed with the store's dedication to the vegan brand. One person commented, the sign should have said, taste the future or something. Another added, this is a store dedicating valuable space to just a vegan product. That is amazing progress toward a goal we all support. Chick-fil-A is the latest fast food chain to announce it's working on vegan options. The chicken chain told Business Insider that it's in the early stages of identifying meatless options, including vegan chicken. Amanda Norris, the executive director of Chick-fil-A's menu, told Business Insider, We're definitely aware, and I would say we're always interested in, what's happening in food. Specifically, a vegetarian option or a vegan option is something we're looking at. Despite the public backlash of funding anti-LGBTQ organizations, Thousands of scorned gay customers who've been boycotting the restaurant are promising to hold a national same-sex kiss day at Chick-fil-A's across the country. Chick-fil-A, with more than 2,200 locations, is still on track to become the third largest fast food chain in U.S. sales this year. The chicken chain's menu already features a number of vegan options, including waffle fries, hash browns, and the recently launched kale salad. Coming up, this race car driver will not stand for animal cruelty. The Discovery Channel announced a new series that will air on its Animal Planet network. Dan from Barn Sanctuary here, and I have some very exciting news for you. Animal Planet has decided to do 12 one hour long episodes documenting what we're doing here at the sanctuary and showing farm animals in a different light. The new series will show viewers what life is like for farm animals saved from slaughter and abuse. Michigan based animal rescue organization Barn Sanctuary will feature in the unnamed series. Barn Sanctuary founder Dan McKernan said in a statement, all of us at Barn Sanctuary are thrilled to open our barn doors to Animal Planet's millions of viewers. 
This show will give farmed animals the chance to be seen in a different light as we rescue, rehabilitate, and provide a loving home to abused and neglected farm animals. The show will feature McKernan, who left work in the city to co-found Barn Sanctuary, as well as his family, employees, and the animals they rescue. Each of the sanctuary's residents have their own unique backstory, coming from slaughterhouses, family farms, hoarding cases, and natural disasters. Five-time Formula One world champion race car driver Lewis Hamilton recently spoke out against animal cruelty, saying it pains his heart. The vegan athlete, widely considered one of the greatest drivers in the history of the sport, posted on his Instagram story to his 10.9 million followers, sharing an image of a donkey pulling a cart. Hamilton wrote, I just wish I could be there to give this beautiful animal a hug, take him away from his pain, and bring light into their life. It is such a cruel world. How can somebody do these things to other beings? Gives me so much pain in my heart. Hamilton adopted a vegan diet in 2017 after watching the documentary What the Health, which looks at the link between diet and disease. Following the change, the athlete said he could never go back to eating meat, saying this is the best he's ever felt in his life. Hamilton has defended animals on numerous occasions. In February, he shared a post from nonprofit Oceanic Preservation Society, criticizing the Icelandic government for returning to whaling practices. In April, he criticized Canada's annual commercial seal slaughter. It's disgusting that governments allow this to happen. This man attacking this seal has no heart. I love Canada, but you guys need to stop this from happening. You're better than this. What do you think of Lewis Hamilton's stance? Let us know in the comments. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News.